and 10 Protestants shot in cold blood. Despite fine political slogans, the deeply sectarian nature of the Northern Ireland problem could not be. Sometimes I take a tear out of a stone. Just thinking back of what had happened and where they were killed and all. And they killed for what? For some families, the loss is absolute. Their loved one hasn't been injured, Reborn. but murdered. My husband, Joe Lehman. The boy McCanville. And he was going away to be a missionary. And James Mahorta. And Walker. Robert Walker. And Kenny Horton. All ones that work together and travel together every day. The most horrifying <laughs> example of sectarian killing occurred when a bus carrying workers to their homes in Bessbrook village was stopped by gunmen and ten Protestants shot in cold blood. A Republican group admitted responsibility. Despite fine political slogans, the deeply sectarian nature of the Northern Ireland problem could not be disguised. Joe Lehman, husband of Jen and father of two girls, was amongst the dead. The man out of gauge, he says, there's eight ambulances away up the road. And I says, eight? He says, eight ambulances away up the road. And uh, I says, oh my goodness, I wonder what has happened. So my daughter, she, she went down to the garage and uh, she lifted the phone in the garage and she rang the police and they just told her to go home and stay with me. Then we all heard that there was one was still alive. It came onto the television and that's how we knew it was uh, they were coming from Glen Ann. Whenever we heard there was one still alive, well everybody was hoping it was theirs, theirs that was still alive. But Joe was dead and to add to the poignancy his eldest daughter was getting married. Each morning, the white cards arrived in the post, some accepting the wedding invitation, others sympathy cards for Joe. Funny thing was, the two wee, two wee girls, they had got their dresses for the wedding and they wanted to show them off. And we said no whenever uh, Joe would come in. They would, he would see them, but he never did, never did. It's always there, it's always a reminder. It's something that will never go away, never go away. We were just struck dumb like, what on earth happened or who on earth done it? Like we, 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 we didn't know what really had happened. And as the saying is to this day, there wasn't a policeman told me what happened. But I'm going to tell you this, the shock was that great on my two girls that the both of them went white in the hair. They lost the colour all out of their hair. They just, they went white. Sometimes it took a tear out of a stone just thinking back of what had happened and where they were killed and all. And they killed for what? 